Hello everyone and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box where that butler has given me the creeps and I would very much like to get out of this room through the secret door. Oh yeah, that's the way I came. Then why did I find a secret door? Give me my ink coins. Wait. Yeah, because this corridor is so long I can't see the other end. Uh, there we go. All right, that's cr uh, seriously. I only found one. All right, I don't want to spend too much time on this, especially since I am apparently the king of hint coins, as denoted by that crown. Alright, whatever, we're moving on. Wait, we're moving back. Professor, I think I see a way we can get out of here. Uh, search led us to the castle, and we're on the verge of revealing what killed Dr. Schrader. We must search this place thoroughly before we make our escape. Let's see what else is here. Gee, Professor, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Luke, listen to me. We can't turn back and run. Not now. We're so close to uncovering the truth about full sense and the Elysian box. We must press on. Well, we'll certainly never get another cha- oh boy. Ah, uh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Wait. Now that is one heck of a chandelier. That wasn't a new chapter? Oh. Look at this painting, Professor. Oh, there he is, larger than life, the current master of Hosen Castle. He the guy who just tried to tie us up and drink our blood? Mm, strange. What's strange, Professor? This picture shows far too much where to have been made recently, right? And that you saw, Anton, yourself, the man and his this portrait are virtually identical. If he doesn't age, he really he must really be a vampire. I knew it! We must get out of here this instant. Perhaps those rumors in town weren't entirely unfounded, but running about in a panic has never solved anything. Why don't we take a moment to clear our heads with this puzzle about portraits? Are you kidding, Professor? I don't think we really have time for this right now. You know, for once, I'm inclined to agree with Luke. Uh, sharing paintings. Whoa. Two brothers have inherited their parents' five-piece art collection. According to the will, the older brother will get a set of paintings worth twice what the younger brother gets. Wow! In order to ascertain the value of the paintings, the brothers called in an appraiser who valued each painting as shown below. For services, the appraiser was promised the one painting left over after the brothers divided the art according to their parents' wishes. Assuming individual paintings can't be divided, fair enough, uh, which one does the appraiser get? Okay. So what two paintings are worth twice what the other ones are? All right. Oh, I think I see this already. I just had a calculator, right? No, wait, nope, that can't be it. Okay, so... Let's try 60 and 55. Alright, no, that can't be right. What about... Yeah, 
He's five, so throw him. Okay, so ah, oh, maybe that does tell me something. Maybe the fives for sure aren't one of the five. It has to be one of the fives. Okay, so that makes things easier. can't make this math work. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I s Oh, you rats. Oh. Right. And that one. So the one brother gets three paintings, the other one gets one, and then the appraiser gets that one. Oh, you rats! They, I, I like how they set that up. That's. <laughs> hmm. This should do the trick. Yep. And there we have it. The appraiser receives painting E. The older brother inherits paintings A, C, and D, which are worth 120,000 total. The little brother gets a single painting worth 60,000, half of what his brother gets. In the end, the appraiser takes home the most expensive painting of all. My, isn't that convenient, right? Hmm. I mean, the older brother still sort of made out the best. And nicely answered, Luke. Uh, perhaps it didn't seem like the ideal time for a puzzle, but being able to stand back and think critically in a time of stress is a skill of utmost importance. Like when there's a frog and you can't figure out how he needs to jump. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment, Professor, but right now solving puzzles is the last thing on my mind. Oh, that's that chandelier. All right. Where am I going? Wait, no, that's the way I came from. Oh! Oh, uh, hello? Oh, I do believe that's Katya. Oh. Why are you two here? I could ask you the same thing. It's dangerous here. There's a vampire living in this castle, you know? Anton, he's no vampire. He's just... Hmm, I'm quite puzzled, Katya. What do you know about this man? Um... It's not for me to say. Besides, right now, you must focus all your efforts on escaping. If you linger here, the madness will grip you before long. Hmm, madness? I'm afraid I don't understand. Please be honest with us. What's happening here? Very well, I'll explain everything, but first you must get as far away from the castle as possible, quickly! I know the way out. Follow me! Uh. How are you related to this entire situation? Are you... There's no time! You've got to get out of here! Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh-oh. This won't do. People are trying to sleep, you know. Like who? Is it you? It can't be. Oh, how I've waited. It's been so unbearably long. Professor, do you know what he's talking about? Not in the slightest. Come closer, my dear sweet Sophia. I've missed you so. <laughs> What's this? 
<laughs> I don't think he's figured it out. Is this how it is? I didn't see this coming, Leighton. Not at all. I'm not sure I understand. This is your fault, but you can't have my Sophia. You're going to be very sorry you crossed me. Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> There's no lack of swords here. Take whichever one you like. Know this though. The green one. Only one of them is real. Oh. <laughs> A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. <gasps> I smell a puzzle. Anyone else smell? Yep, there it is. One true sword. What? Ah. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. These are Anton's last words to Professor Layton before the start of their duel. Can you find the real one real sword among Anton's collection? Circular your selection and draw your weapon of choice. The green one. <laughs> Please be the. I want somehow for it to be the green one, right? A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. Please tell me I like die if I choose wrong here. <laughs> it's in hand. Okay. So, you know, sometimes you gotta, just gotta tilt your head to the side around your microphone and see that the real sword was in your hand all along. Got it. Ah, wonderful. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. Anton's words were a subtle hint that all the swords on the wall were for show. The only real sword in the bunch is the one sitting in the hand of the suit of armor. <gasps> a duel! I didn't think you had it in you, Mr. Layton. What? Those fencing lessons paid off. <laughs> oh, uh, should have studied a little bit more. Layton! Sophia belongs to me. You can't have her. Uh, shouldn't we help? Just need to catch my breath. No more, please, just stop. What's happened to me? Are you all right? Please just stop, Grandfather. Your body can't take it. What did you say? I don't understand, Sophia, dear. You haven't figured it out, have you? You really don't know. Then I guess it's up to me to tell you the truth. I'm your granddaughter, Anton. Oh. Well, alright. I did say that was Katya's daughter, so I was close. Don't be ridiculous. Look at me. I'm too young to be anyone's grandfather. But what you see around you isn't real. It's just an illusion created by your own mind. Your youth is part of that illusion. The truth is, well, 
Allow me, please. The gold mine built by your father, the late Duke Harrison, brought this town much growth and prosperity. But something terrible slept deep within that rich gold deposit. Unbeknownst to the miners, they hit a vein of hallucinogenic gas while digging for gold. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> the gas made those who breathed it extremely susceptible to mental suggestion of all types. Okay, I, I'm with that Tales so far. Of the nightmarish vision seen in full sense then spread, as did the town's sinister reputation. Okay, okay, I can see that. In truth, neither the full sense we see before us nor its residents really exist. Here's where you lose me. This is all a creation of our minds. How did you figure it all out, Professor? The images of full sense we saw are 50 years old. Yet they show a town identical to the full sense of today. No town can remain unchanged for 50 long years. The photos we saw in the train station formed our impression of the full sense we'd see. The full sense of 50 years ago. Enough of this madness. False sense is real. I'm real. So what they're arguing here is we see him as like a young person because the gas in full sense is like eroded our minds and because we'd only ever seen him that way that's how we see him now I think is the argument they're making None of it's real grandfather this town is just a thin shadow an illusion born of greed Uh well, what about what's his name Apollo and Flora. Everything you know changed fifty years ago. Uh, Katya is the granddaughter of Sophia and Anton. I got that. Katya set up for full sense to make sure Anton understood Sophia's true feelings and reasons for leaving. I don't know that she necessarily got that part. Uh, down. Okay. The full sense station? How is that solved? The hallucinogenic gas present in full senses air caused Leighton and the others to imagine the station as it was in the many photographs lying the corridor leading out the building. But what about Beluga? Like, surely he would know what was going on. But you and I are betrothed. How can you just leave me here? I won't have it. This whole town is cursed. If we remain here, all those dear to me will die. Oh, including their... She was pregnant. Okay. And so she didn't want anything to happen to the baby. Okay. Am I not dear to you, Sophia? Stay with me, and we'll rebuild full sense together. I'm sorry, Anton, but there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. Okay, yeah. The baby. Is that the real reason you want to go? Because there's someone else? I trusted Sophia, and she left me for another. You've got it all wrong, Grandfather. She never betrayed you. What? The other she was talking about was the little life growing inside her. The life you two created together. No. That can't be. I'm sorry, Anton. But there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. I never knew. Sophia was... You think she could have just told him that? That's right. Grandmother was carrying my mother, and she left full sense to keep her safe. She kept the baby a secret to avoid causing you more pain. I've been so wrong. I almost can't blame him. Grandmother passed away last year, but she was always talking about you, even toward the end. 
she never stopped loving you. Anton invented the whole vampire scheme to scare off those who would try to loot the Herzen fortune. He did this by whisking away all those who came too close to the castle and setting them free to run away once properly scared. Did I miss the part where they explained that? Sophia is dead? No, it can't be. I've had enough of your lies! Oh. Oh. So that's why he got tired. Easily. It's because he's like freaking old. Grandfather, no! Please stop! We must leave now. The whole place is starting to crumble. Come with me. What's this? What's happening? Huh? Come on, Grandfather, we have to get out of here. Be careful. What? <gasps> 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 Oh, because the chandelier was enough. Yeah, the whole thing was unstable. Okay, this part I buy. Probably gonna want to get across pretty quickly. Ooh. So what about the people here, though? Did we never see them? There we go. It seems I've found the answers I was searching for. Here, allow me to return this to you. Thank you. So, the box wasn't cursed after all. No, Luke, there's no curse to be found here. But if I were to guess, I suspect you'd find traces of that gas in the ore used to make this box. Okay, that that is actually a kind of a neat twist. The that drove the town to ruin were released upon each person who opened the box. And in unventilated areas with... Okay. Those who opened the box expected death. And in doing oh. so, fulfilled their own grim predictions. Okay. Not as interesting as what I, you know, or as scientific as what I was going with, but okay. I suppose it was just an ordinary box then. Oh, I assure you, it's far from ordinary. This box was crafted to hold the words of my heart. What do you mean? The box contains a hidden message, one meant only for Sophia. Many years ago, I asked a traveler passing through town to deliver it to her. Unfortunately, the box's value made it a target for those hungry for wealth. And so it was stolen again and again, thus perpetuating the whole chain of sad events. So then why were the people of Dropstone so dead set against it? It was as empty as could be. Ah, oh, well that's because there's actually a second way to open it. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These old words are the key to understanding this box and what it means. Do you follow, boy? I think so. Let me give it a shot. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. Huh. 
Wait. Oh, is this like the end? The Elysium. Oh my God. This is the end. I think. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These are, words are the key to opening the Elysian box. It's up to you to find a way to open the box and solve the final puzzle. Of our, the final puzzle! Oh my god, this is the end! I wasn't ready. Well, I, I mean, I guess the sword fight probably should have been a clue. Oh! Ah, uh, what? The sun rises when you and I meet. Okay, that's that's pretty easy. When the wind blows, you will know my heart. Uh. What was that? The sun rises when you and I meet. Okay, so we got that part. When the wind blows, you will know my heart. What was that? Did they just shake? When the wind blows... I can't do anything with... Oh, I can't, I can't move, I can't move them back at all. Is there anything else to tap when the wind blows? <gasps> That's why they shook, I put my thumb over the microphone on the gamepad and they started to shake. Ladies, the fighter strikes again. Woo! I'm glad there's a. I'm glad I'm playing this on the gamepad. I how would I? I don't know how I would have emulated that. What was the message that Anton left to his sweetheart all those years ago? The time's come to find out. I'm just gonna leave the, the volume up. What's the matter? This isn't the letter I wrote. This is Sophia's handwriting. Oh, so she did get it. The box must have made it to her after all. That makes sense, because that would explain why the people at Dropstone were, like, so angry about the box, right? My dear Anton, are you well? I re Though I'd Oop. like nothing more than to see you again, I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to do so. You don't know how many times I've thought about you over the years. I often wonder if you hate me for what I did. Do you? When I decided to leave, I was carrying our child. I couldn't bear exposing that tiny life to such danger. I knew your father's position and understood you didn't have the option to leave with me. Okay, I kind of buy that. Even though I did the only thing I could, I'll always regret leaving you that way. But there's one bright spot in this sad story, and that is our lovely granddaughter, Katya. My departure all those years ago has given you the chance to meet. Katya's mother died shortly after she was born. But Katya grew up strong and sweet just the same. She reminds me of you every time she smiles. With her around, I could never forget about you, even if I wanted to. You've been in my thoughts since the day we parted. And now, though my time here is drawing to a close, 
I like to think we'll meet again on the other side. The thought of seeing your face warms my heart. Be well and be happy. My dear Anton, goodbye. But just for now, your Sophia. Oh, Sophia. I finally understand now. There we go. It turns out that the Elysian box was crafted 50 years ago to carry a letter from Anton to his love, Sophia. A gas present in the material used to make the box causes hallucination in those who open it. These visions are how the rumors of a curse began. Okay. I I buy that. I buy that. I, I think that the, the gas in such concentration being opened is what killed them would have been made a little bit more sense than just they expected to die, so they did, but, eh. All right. Grandfather. Hmm. Grandfather? Yes, that's right. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> I am so happy we met my dear granddaughter. You don't know how much this means to me. It's been so long, so very long, in fact, that I had forgotten what love even felt like. Instead, my love for Sophia was replaced by anger, and that anger completely blinded me. But now I can see the world clearly again, thanks to you, my granddaughter. Are you listening, Sophia? I'll have to put off returning to your side for a while. There's someone I need to get to know here first. Will you forgive me for making you wait just a little longer, my dear? Wherever she is, I'm sure she's very happy for us. So they're staying in full sense even though there's nothing there. See ya! Bye! <laughs> Where's that drop stone? Because that would make more sense. I think they stayed in full sense. Interesting. And that was the tale of the Elysian box, a relic feared for the fatal curse it was said to carry. But, when all was said and done, there was no curse sleeping under its gilded lid. Instead, the box was revealed for what it truly was. A vessel created to carry the love of two kindred spirits through all of time. While terror brought the box its notoriety, in the end, its most powerful message was one of love. Wait, what happened to Flora, though? <laughs> Alright. So, I do think... I do think I like the first game a little bit better, but this was still good. Um, so, the whole, like, gas making people see what they wanted to see hate it. I, the thing I liked about the first one is its biggest twists were things that you could kind of see coming. I don't know how you were supposed to like think, oh, I bet that they just, uh, you know, got gas and, you know, broke a vein and, and are hallucinating now sort of thing. Um, but that said, I feel like the, the payoff was worth it. So, it really just comes down to personal preference. Whereas, like, I like the first one for it being 
something that if you paid close enough attention, you could you could solve. I'm gonna turn the, the volume down a little bit until more video scenes start. So, so yeah, I, I, I think it's just, you know, what, like, down to, down to your, your preference. Uh, but, it, like I said, this, this still had a good payoff, so it, it kind of, like, I don't want to say, like, got a little bit, got away from reality, uh, and, like, plausibility, but I think they... I think the payoff was there I, to, ju to justify that decision. So, uh, I, uh, gameplay was good. Probably e even better than the first one, really. Uh, definitely a lot more to do. The team mini game, not really, uh, not really a good reason for it to even exist. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> uh, Luke, you're not old enough yet. Also, uh, I call dibs. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Everything. Just the look on Layton's face cracked me up. Uh, <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the gameplay. Gameplay was good. Um, team mini game, not as, as good. Um, I did like that there were more things to do, even if it wasn't necessarily, like, super interesting. Like, oh, we forgot, I forgot about Hammy. Meant to do some of that stuff. So here, that, that was that scene right there is another like suspension of disbelief, where it's like Don Paulo disguising himself as uh, Flora. Like how? <laughs> you know, but you knew you knew something was up. I do. I get. I don't know what would make you think that he was involved. Uh, now that one, I also I don't feel like there was the payoff there. Like I feel like that revelation just kind of came and went. So, man, like, really, I guess if there's a, a plot point to be sour at, just the, the way that kind of fizzled. Um, the, uh, the photograph, the only thing I was worried about, I was worried that I was going to, like, because it seems like some of those are permanently missable then. Or no, I was worried they were permanently missable. I don't, doesn't seem like they were. Oh, there's the reunion. Brotherly reunion there. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yeah, the, the photo, the, that was nice. Uh, from like a Let's Play perspective, some of the puzzles took a lot of time. Which isn't necessarily a great thing, but like, take that piece out of it, and it's like, well, that's content, though. Like, you know, you, you kind of want that. So I don't, I don't necessarily see that as a, as a negative. But it was, it was something I noticed. Oh, they found Flora. Uh, compared to the first game, where I felt like there weren't too many puzzles that. Really, were just like a lot of trial and error, and spending a lot of time on them. Well, I'm sure there were a couple. Wait, now Luke is wearing the mask. Uh, I'm trying to read Flora's facial expression. I don't. I don't think she likes it. So this is them all back in Dropstone. Okay, so they did go back, or no, did the people, did they come back to full sense? I'm looking at the buildings, I think that's what it is. Come look at this article, you two. Huh? Miracle Rescue saves beloved academic. So, the doctor's alive after all! Hmm. We'll visit him as soon as we return. Hmm. Oh, but that might conflict with the symposium you have scheduled in London tomorrow. Well then, I'll simply have to cancel. Huh? After all, Luke, 
One must always show gratitude to one's teachers. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> Weird note to end on, but it's fine. Cool. All right. So, like I said, overall, I liked it. Uh, I do. I do think I slightly prefer the first one just a little, uh, but still good. We will be playing the next one, which I think is. Hold on, I'm gonna get this wrong either way. What is it? What is the next one? Is it the unwound future? But either way, whatever. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll look it up. Don't worry. Or yeah, I'm sure someone in the comments can can set me straight. Uh, so we we will be playing. I, I plan to keep playing these games as long as people are watching them. So, uh, so we'll we'll do that. What I am gonna do is I'm probably gonna stick to my alternating. We'll do a, a Layton game, then an Ace Attorney game, and then like. Just a week or two of whatever, and then do another Layton game. Week or two of whatever, do another Ace Attorney game. That's kind of the plan until we get through them all. Uh, again, again, provided people are still watching, but that's the plan. Um, if you want to see when the next Layton game goes up, and what, like that, those notifications. Um, there's our Discord. I I realize I forgot for this series, but typically I try to post anytime I I do a. There's a channel just for a new series. Um, so that would probably be the best place, uh, assuming I actually do a do a better job of that. But that would probably be the best place to know when the next Layton series starts. But uh, hopefully, you guys are looking forward to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I'm I'm pretty confident on that one, uh, which will kind of be a test run to for doing 3DS games because I haven't. I, I'm either gonna do I might do the Android version. We'll see. I'll have to figure it out, but. Uh, it'll be it'll be a good test run for when I finally have to do figure out 3ds games for the, the latent series because I do want to play those if possible so uh, thank you all so much for for watching this series um, my it, it, part way through in my, in my own personal life there was there was some stuff going on so it was definitely this has been a nice distraction have it having this so I uh, definitely appreciate you all coming along for the ride as always thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.